Hello everybody and uh, my name is Narendra Kumar and we are from Narendra Academy. And today our topic is temperature and kinetic energy. Kinetic energy and temperature. This is very interesting. How is temperature? Temperature means degree of hotness. Something is very hot, more hot, more hot. How is that connected to kinetic energy? Which kinetic energy? Kinetic energy in mechanics means what? The energy of motion. Suppose this is falling, it has kinetic energy. That, what is the connection? That is a very profound topic which you are going to do now. Very interesting topic. Take two bowels, activity 3, page number 4 in SSC AP Celeb, wonderful textbook, Physics Through Activities. Take two bowels, one with hot water and second with cold water. Simple. Gently sprinkle food color on the surface of the water in both bowels. So, don't just push it in. Just gently sprinkle. Observe the motion of the small grains of food color. How do they move? Why do they move randomly? Randomly. There is no specific direction. It can move randomly. Why do the grains in hot water move more rapidly? More rapidly than the grains in the cold water. There is not a stupid question. Yeah, why? Why is it moving more rapidly? What is happening inside? You will notice that the grains of food color jiggle, move more randomly. This happens because the molecules of water in both bowels are in random motion. So, it is clear indication what is happening inside. Everything is made up of molecules, atoms and molecules. We will see in further detail later in an atomic structure video. But, I read again. The molecules of water in both bowels are in random motion. We observe that the jiggling, jiggling of the grains of food color in hot water is more when compared to the jiggling in cold water. We know that bodies possess kinetic energy when they are in motion. As the speed of motion of particles, grain of food color in the bowels of water are different, what does it mean obviously? The kinetic energy inside, we can say that they have different kinetic energies. Thus, we conclude that the average kinetic energy of molecules, particles of a hotter body is greater than a colder body because inside it is pushing more, that is all. How profoundly simple, how beautiful. Inside the bodies, in the hotter body, the particles are moving fast. So, the food grains, it pushes the food grains also more. The food grains move more. Other, what, otherwise, what, are the, what is the other explanation? There is no other explanation. So, what is temperature? We have gone to the depth now. Temperature is the average kinetic energy of the body. Which body? The particles inside the body, not the body. This is not this body, the particles inside the body. So, we can say that the temperature of a body is an indicator of the average kinetic energy of molecules of that body. The average kinetic energy of the molecules, the average kinetic average, because some are more, some are less. So, you have to take, a, take the overall kinetic energy, right? Why are we taking average? Overall kinetic energy. The average kinetic energy of the molecules is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. More the average kinetic energy of the molecules, more temperature. That's why when we rub our hands, simple, when we rub our hands, we are giving more motion to the internal molecules, our hands feel hot. Okay. That completes activity 3. In the next section, we will come to a very interesting activity, activity 4. And uh, my name is Narendra Kumar and we are from Narendra Academy. Thank you so much.